glory to Jesus. Welcome us all to another soul moment. The presence of God today. Appreciate us once again. Before we go, covenant. I want us to love upon him. Just a few moments. A few minutes. I want us to love upon him. Let's call him sweet names. Let's exalt him. Let's appreciate him. Tell him, Jesus, I love you. Say it like you mean it. Jesus, I love you. Oh, Jesus. Who is there? see me. Or particularly, imagine. Covenant keeping God. Just love upon him, call him sweet names. Love upon Jesus this moment. Just few moments, just few minutes, just say sweet things unto him. existing one 
that has probably weared out or, or just gone off. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we're talking about new covenant. Covenant, we must establish, is an agreement. It's an agreement. Now, between two people or more. Today, we are talking about the agreement between God and man. Now, it is the new agreement between God and man. That means that God had an agreement. They had a covenant which was probably broken. But now, we are operating in this new one. New covenant. New agreement between God and man. God and his creation. The creator and his creation. Hallelujah. Now let's look at let's look at this covenant. Let's look at it. Quickly, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31 to 34. Says, The day is coming, says the Lord. When I will make a new covenant with the people, with my people, with you and I, this covenant will not be the one I made with your ancestors. This, is, this has established that there was an old covenant with the forefathers. And that version says the forefathers, the people of old. Now he's saying that this new one oh, is a different one from the one he made with them. This covenant will not be the same as the one he has made with the ancestors. When he took them by hand and brought them out of the land of Egypt, they broke it. Though he loved them like a husband loves a wife. But this new one he will make with us, that he has made with us, this new covenant, he says he will put it in our hearts. That means that nobody has to tell you that, hey, or alone, Lele, you go to if truly, if truly he is your God and you are of him, that means this one will be in your heart. And whenever you feel that, uh, you would always remember it. He says that I will put my instruction deep within them. I will be their God and they will be my people. I go to verse 10 too. Again, this covenant will not be like that of old. They broke it, but this new covenant I will put it in them. I will be their God and they will be my people. And they will not need to teach their neighbors. No, we don't need to teach their relatives. Saying you should know the Lord for everyone. All of us. Everyone. He says, for everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already. He says the Lord. He will forgive the wickedness and you will never remember them again. That means that that old covenant would always bring back some, some maybe when, you, when you, have, you, have, you have done something, you know, you have to atone with the blood of lambs, with the blood of this, with the blood of that. And if you do not do that, you will not be remembered. But this new one is telling us that you don't have to say that, eh, you, this brother, cut the shade. You down. If that brother is of God, he will know that this one it is in me. God says that he's putting that instruction in us. It is put, he's putting it in us from the least to the greatest. That means from the tender age, everybody knows this covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I said that covenant is an agreement between two. That means God and man. Now, in an agreement, those people, two people, they have their parts to play. I mean, God has his part. He has made the covenant. And he's never going to go out of it. He said everything that comes out of his mouth will not go without being fulfilled. That means it's now our own part now. The song we sang said, Obatiki in Yemajemu, Akbanko wok in Yemajemu, Chupon Fiore of Erefua, Majemu Tiawa Baoda, Tiawa Kale Mushe. Hallelujah. That means that we have a role, we have a part, not to depart from that way, to always keep that word in our heart, to always remember it. Hallelujah. So I said that this covenant we are talking about, this one is sealed by the blood of Jesus. It is not by the blood of the lamb, 
It is not by other blood. It is sealed by the blood of Jesus. That means that it nullifies every other covenant. No, no, no other covenant can rise when this covenant is. It, is, it nullifies every other covenant. Now in this new covenant, there is no sorrow. There is no tear. There is no death. There is no strife. There is no, there is no weakness. There is no tear in this new covenant. There is life everlasting. That is the covenant he has made with us. There is life everlasting in this new covenant. It nullifies every other covenant. Now if there is a covenant they have made in your generation, if there is a covenant they have made in your family, that's why you know Mary. But because you know that I live under a new covenant that nullifies every other covenant, you stand and you say, uh-uh, you know what I'm to do to me, why? For possible. Now I want us to pray. I want us to pray. You tell God, that is different from your own. Every covenant that they have said that in my household, this happens to them. Because I am in you, you are my God, I am your people, and your word is in me, and I live in this new covenant that is sealed by the blood of the Lamb that nullifies every other covenant. I nullify them. We nullify every covenant that is, in, that is not of God. God, give me the strength to, uh, to be in you forever. Because if you, if you depart from this way, this covenant will not work for you. There's this part of the Bible that says that they will not serve idol again because they are in this new covenant. They will not serve idol again because they are in this covenant. Now, let's pray to God. Oh, Lord Jesus, give me the strength to abide in this covenant forever so that I can gain the benefits. It has benefits a lot. So that I can gain the benefits in it. Say, God, give me the strength and enable me, enable me to remain in you so that I will not live, I will continually be under this covenant. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every one of us that whatsoever covenant that is speaking over our lives, that is not the covenant of God, that is not this new covenant, it is nullified in the name of Jesus.